In this clip, we will talk about using reliability analysis. Reliability analysis measures the overall consistency of the items that are used to define a scale. For this clip, we will use the text survey data that is already open. To do this analysis, we need to select two or more variables as items. In our case, we will select question 31A1 through question 31A12. These variables deal with the level of difficulty of faculty in using technology in the classroom. These questions are rated on a scale of 1 to 5, where 1 is the least difficult to use and 5 is the most difficult to use. Our scale will be the average of these 12 questions. We would like to find out whether or not these items are consistent in defining a scale. To do this, I will go to the Analyze menu, Scale, and select Reliability Analysis. And I will choose my variables, which are question 31A1 through question 31A12. Next, I need to choose a model. Cronvax Alpha is the most popular. Cronvax Alpha is for the internal consistency and is based on the average inter-item correlation. There are other choices and the Help button can help you decide which model is best in your situation. But we will leave this at the Cronvax Alpha model. By default, our analysis will give the sample size, the number of items or variables, and the reliability coefficient. If we want additional statistics, we should choose the Statistics button. Here we can obtain descriptives for each item chosen, summaries, and other results. We would like to see the importance of each item, so I will choose descriptives for scale if item is deleted. This will show me how the reliability of the scale will change if an item is deleted. I will also choose descriptives for scale which will give me the descriptive statistics on question 31A1 through question 31A12 as a group. I will also select the inner item correlations. This will produce a matrix of correlations between the items. This is all I need for my analysis, so I will click Continue and then OK. Here is the output for this analysis. If we look at the reliability statistics, we will note that Cronbax Alpha is 0.913, which is the reliability coefficient. You should note that when you are using data where the items are in different units of measurement, the alpha based on standardized items is recommended. Below this is the inter-item correlation matrix, which shows us the relationship between pairs of items. If you look at the item total statistics, it shows you the importance of each item. Let us look at each variable. For example, if we deleted question 31A1, our alpha would decrease to 0.900. Therefore, we do not want to delete question 31A1 because it would decrease our reliability. If we continue down the list, we can see that if question 31A10 was deleted, our reliability would go up to 0.926. This suggests that question 31A10 is not as consistent as other items. Deleting question 31A10 will increase the reliability. 
Now you know how to use reliability analysis to see how important each item is in defining the scale.